Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I will be talking about Hero Wars Mobile and basically an updated uh, July calendar, if we will, of events to expect. Um, I know I did post one earlier, but basically people have been asking me to, um, you know, talk about the updated list because some events seem to have been moved around. So without further ado, let's get into it. guys so here we have obviously the event that we have going on right now which is the artifact event sale right everything is 25 percent off um it does say here right 10 chests for 600 emeralds and for 100 chests 5625 emeralds you do have to actually purchase um with emeralds the 10 chest i believe it's 10 times before you can unlock the option to purchase um, using the 100 chests for 5,625 emeralds. That's just a heads up. Um, I still don't really recommend uh, spending much, of, if anything, on this event um, because the next event is also a emerald spending event, which is all about Titans, right? So Call of the Titans. Um, we have, as we know already, five spheres will cost 525 emeralds and 50 will only cost 4,876. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, granted, it is still pretty pricey in terms of emeralds, but if you can swing it, I would say if you had the choice between the event we have going on right now and the next event, the next event called Titans may be more beneficial because Titans are crucial when it comes to Guild Wars. Um, so this is the new event that obviously um, Hero Wars Mobile uh, the actual page itself, right, has been teasing uh, the Darkness Falls event, which is supposed to be a major event. Um, here we know it's going to, you know, probably last seven days, according to this, but we don't know exactly the time frame. If it's going to fall like July 10th all the way to July 20th, we're not really sure what's going on there. Um, but basically, that's kind of the date range we're expecting. And it's going to be very similar. You're going to have bosses that you can beat daily, as well as some like, minor quests um on the campaign map right so there's gonna be a separate campaign map um and you can basically complete different tasks and get rewarded for it um also usually there is like a little um side thing where you can collect these like rewards so you can battle the bosses um i believe usually it's like you collect five and then, and then you can battle the boss so for those of you guys who have played a while you guys know what i'm talking about for those of you who don't you'll see that coming up soon that's going to be probably a major event. A lot of people are saying we're going to have two new heroes, uh, Corvus and Morgan. Um, as for the exact abilities, unknown right now. Uh, we're just going to have to sit and wait, I believe. Um, and then, of course, right after that, you have the Orion event, um, which is going to be, you know, basically three days, I think. So usually they start like at night, for me at least. Um, and basically, Orion is a very good hero. Highly recommend him, but I do think that if you're going to, you know, spend or even use emeralds, I don't really think uh, Orion's the hero to do it, just because Orion can be obtained um, in-game through natural means. Um, I believe Tower Shop, you know, Tower Coins can be easily obtained to absolute Orion, so there's no need to go too hard here. And then we have the Artifact Chests event. Uh, this is the Keystone event, right? This was what was expected to happen in place of the artifact coin event, but granted, it looks like there was a little bit of a you know switcheroo. So that's kind of what we're updating right now. Um, and basically, what they're saying here is the speculation is every seven units of energy spent in campaign, right? So every time you basically use seven energy. So I don't know if that means we have to you know basically do campaigns that have eight energy to qualify, or if we can do uh, two different six um, energy quests, if you will, to you know accumulate twelve. If that counts as twelve, and then you still get credit for one because that 
you know, it falls within the realm of seven units. Um, I'm not sure. I think we'll find out as we go along. But basically, it looks like through this event, we have the possibility to get some interesting rewards. So here we have them listed. Um, after that event, right, we have the Guardians of Outland, right? Just your classic spending energy, throw chest, Outland chest, and daily login. Uh, so skin stones, always helpful um, to get those cool looking skins. Do remember skins stack, so you can have all of them. The only thing, you know, by picking one, you're just making sure that your hero looks cool. It has nothing to do with, you know, one skin over another. They all stack. So all of those statistics will just increase your hero's abilities and strength. I do see this 727 to 729 times three event. Um, I'm not sure if that's just based off of emeralds. Um, it just kind of restates some things that were talked about in the Falls Darkness event, which I spoke about a little earlier, right? The Darkness Falls event. Um, and then finally, right, we have um, event-wise in terms of things you can accumulate. You have Faceless, which again, you can get in the Highwayman shop. So there's not really a big need to, you know, go crazy and spend here. You can get him absolute um, just through normal means, just like I was talking about with Orion. Very good hero, Faceless. Um, very versatile. Um, and basically, yeah, he's a very good hero. I recommend you get him, but don't go crazy in terms of spending, which is not necessary. Um, right after this, it looks like you have the times four sale, which a lot of people always ask about um, towards the end of the month. So that's what we're expecting here. Um, that's basically what we're looking at. I know there's some additional updates in terms of like uh, financial stuff. I guess I can just scroll down here. But basically for me personally, as a free to play player, um, I just don't need it. Um, not really because I'll get it all free eventually through the game. So these are kinds of ways you can speed up in terms of purchasing stuff in game. Um, but to reiterate, you don't have to spend to be a strong player in Hero Wars. Um, does it help? Absolutely. But those are the events we're looking at for the rest of this month. I know some people were asking for an updated list. This is what we're talking about. It just looks like some events basically got moved around, nothing too crazy. So I hope this helps you guys out and I hope I see you all in Dominion.